Hello, this is Valerie at my Scrap Chick, and t today we're putting together the new Frankenstein popcorn wrap. So I've got the pieces set together here rather loosely, so we'll just do one at a time. We're going to do the cover first, and on the backing, we're going to fold along the score lines here, and we're going to fold it back. And then I'm going to attach the spine. Put that along here. And you can see when it's on that it has a slight green edge all the way around. So then now we're going to do the cover. So we'll put this on. And then when I put this on, I line it up along the hair. And that's still going to leave when you have it lined up perfectly here. There is going to be somewhat of a green border down along the edges here. So you can see. And then I'm going to put together the face. Now, on this one, on Frankie, I put the face on first. And again, I'd line that up along the very top and these two edges up, up here. And I'll take my squeegee and squeegee that down. And now I'll put on his hair. And the same thing, I'm lining that up along the top. Next, I'm doing the insert for his eyes. And that just slips right in there like a puzzle piece. And then when I do the whites of his eyes, that I'm going to line up right in the center and on the top. And then his brows and his little eyeballs. And I'll line that up so that the, the eyeballs themselves will kind of go in again like a puzzle piece on part of there. And then I'll put on his nose. Right in the center, his shoes, the shoes are optional, I just like, like to add them, it adds a little bit of character, those go along the bottom, and then we have two little pieces for the bolt in his neck and I cut that out of a chrome a silver I guess not chrome it's more really more silver try not to get too much glue on there and I know it helps to use tweezers on these little pieces okay and so the front is done goes together real quick and easy so I'm going to do the back and again like we did on the front we're going to add the spine this is actually the back cover but this is what it's going to look like from the inside And again, like the front, I line it up along the top and those sides. And this too is going to have that slight green border all the way around. OK, 
Okay, and on this one, I'm going to fold on the score lines, but I'm going to fold it forward because, like I said, that's going to be viewed from the inside. So then I'll take the cover, bring it over here, run some glue along the spine. But I keep this standing up so that it creates a bit of an edge where I can slide the other binding into place, lining it up along the top and the bottom, but it s slides right in there. Okay, so that part's done and then we'll do the pocket next. And the pocket is just simply these black panels and then the decorative front. And if you like, some people like to add the decorative Halloween papers Get all these added. <laughs> Line it up there and then add this piece. And you've got the little bit of a border, like I said, all the way around. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and I'm going to fold on all the score lines. You can do this before or after adding the uh, decorative panels. Sometimes I do it beforehand. It makes it easier sometimes to line up those panels. But just go ahead and fold on all those score lines. And then I'm going to glue down these two tabs one at a time. And hold that there for a second to let it dry. And do the other side. This is the pocket where we're going to slip in the popcorn wrap. And then I fold these down. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. And then I'll slide it all along there and there. And then I'm going to slip it on here and I'm going to line it up right on the bottom and on the outer edge. And I found what makes it easier when I'm gluing this on is to take a ruler. <clears throat> Or a flat object and run it along here to kind of press it down and hold the glue and we have that and then I'm going to add this panel on front Okay, so the cover is done. We'll set that aside and we're going to work on the belly band. So I slide these pieces off. This piece with a popcorn shape is going to go on top of the straight band. But when I do the glue on here, I'm just going to go straight across. I'm not going to get any I'm not going to get any glue on these two pieces here on the those sides and then I'm going to line it up evenly <laughs> right do that and then squeegee that down and then this is the very back front line that up to match perfectly along the top edges and now we'll add 
the white stripes for the popcorn box. This I'm going to line up with these two notches here and then down at the bottom. And now we'll put on the popcorn layers. This is the backing for the pop popcorn. I'll line that up along those top edges. Actually, I like to put this one on first. I like to put the bottom on first. Lining it up down along those edges. And then the top layer. Now I've got three extra pieces of popcorn and I do this so that you can get some uh, definition and so there's one piece that goes over here. You can also cut extras of these. So nope, I guess it goes, nope, the second one over. It goes the second one over. I cut extra, you can cut extra pieces if you want to add other bits of popcorn around the box just for fun. And then these two are different sizes. There's a small one and a larger one. The small one goes down on this lower corner. And then the larger one's going to go in the top middle. Okay, and on the greeting that goes on the front, you have a choice. You could use the blank oval that's in the cutting file, or you can use one of the um, print and cut ones for trick or treat or ha happy Halloween. Let's do trick or treat. Set that in there, and then we'll attach that to the front. You could also pop dot this if you wanted to. Okay, now we're ready to add his hands. The thumbs go up. And we're going to put, actually we're going to put this belly band on before we add the hands. And I'll show you why. Oh, let me show you too. This is where you can insert your popcorn wrap. And I suggest adding the popcorn wrap before you put the belly band on. That way you know that you're not getting the belly band too tight or too loose. And I just set it on there and I just push around to the back. And I'm making sure that it's not too tight. So push it around to the back here. And when I do this, I do glue on this side on the top and then I do a little, another little bit of glue on the underside because then when you push it together they're both edges are securely glued but I don't get too much glue and then now you can see that can slide on and off easily and now I'm ready to add his hands so we're just going to add them right onto the belly band So a little bit of glue in the middle of the hand there and then just place it where you think it looks good. And there we have it. We're all done. That's the Frankenstein popcorn belly wrap.